Hello and welcome everyone about one of the Vampire Counts Let's Play for Total War Warhammer. So, getting ready now with my second Let's Play. The third Let's Play I'll be doing will be with Chaos, which I'm hoping I'll be able to release tomorrow for you guys. I just need to wait for the build to be updated because as you can see, there's currently no option to choose Chaos because um, my build hasn't been updated, my kind of uh, press release as it were. Uh, check out part one of my Empire Let's Play if you haven't already. But, and also listen to kind of the the long intro that I kind of give of all my plans there if you want to know the kind of full plans coming forward. Uh, but there'll be a full schedule worth of content uh, from the 24th, 25th of May going forward. Regular series, three uploads of each series a week. Um, but until then, we'll be getting some more Let's Plays starting and some battle replays. So let's have a look at the victory objectives for the Vampire Counts. I'm going to be going for the long campaign victory, which requires me to hold 20 provinces. Um, either through direct ownership or through vassals and military allies. Destroy the Empire, Dwarves and Britonia. And ensure that Chaos Warriors faction only exists in the Chaos Waste region and that Archeon the Ever Chosen is in a wounded state. Uh, the only difference between that and short campaign is that you only have to control 12 provinces and you only need to defeat the Empire um, completely. So. Let's go forward, and we're playing on hard difficulty, and I'm going to be playing as Manfred von Karstein. He won the vote. Uh, if you do want to see the introduction battle um, for Manfred, then let me know. I'll make that in a separate video as well. I'll already be making one with Carl Franz, uh, as a fair few of you wanted to see that. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, and also feel free to suggest names for my units, because I'll be renaming most of my units in these series over the next few parts. Um, you guys have got absolutely crazy with them on the Empire Let's Play, so feel free to do the same here. Just um, comment down below with the name, uh, kind of custom name, and then which unit you'd like that to be applied to. And I'll be going through and adding them in before I start recording kind of part either two or three down the line. So Manfred has plus five camping map movement range for all characters and minus 10% upkeep cost for Graveguard and Black Knight units. Uh, apart from that, all looks pretty standard, so let's jump on in. Oh, and uh, if you do enjoy this video, this will be an hour long to start with. Um, feel free to leave a like. It'd be awesome if you smash 3,000 likes on this video as well. So, let's begin. War is eternal. As inevitable as the grave. The old world, the rotting corpse within. Some fools think it worth saving. But there are beings who wish to bring about an eternal night. I am a bearer of law to those with such power. Manfred has returned from the dead once more. He marches on the von Karstein ancestral pile of Castle Dragonhof. For I have brought him ill news that a master necromancer has claimed the fortress as his own. Manfred must retake his ancient stronghold and either destroy the usurper within or bind him to his will. So, there we go, the intro. And if you do play that introduction, you'll actually be fighting against the Necromancer at Castle Drakenhof to reclaim it. And that's what that battle's about, but as I said, uh, if enough of you would like to see it, then I will make that video for all you guys and just go through it. It's a nice introduction. You get that with each faction leader. 
uh, in Total Warhammer and both new and old players will probably appreciate that. It's just a, an easy way to get started but now we're going to take a look at the campaign map starting for the Vampire Counts. Castle Drakenhof is back in your hands, my unliving sire. Yet you have many enemies, both living and dead, who balk at the threat of a von Karstein reigning from his ancestral stronghold. Much needs to be done. The Tempelhof brood control the lands to the north as far as the river Stir. Conflict with them is inevitable, but your will is indomitable. Take their lands, burn their crypts, and deploy their own dead against them. The high mountains to the south are infested with dwarfs. Your homelands will never be safe with such an enemy so close. Make plans to drive their stunted kind out in time. Greatness runs throughout the von Karstein bloodline, my lord. Glory shall be yours if you are ambitious enough to seize it. So there we go, and our first mission has been issued, which is engage the enemy, defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle, Tempelhof, and we'll get plus 1,000 dark magic, which is the currency that the vampire counts use. So I don't know what the exchange rate is like, but uh, it seems to be a roaring trade between dark magic to empire coins and dwarven ingots and all that jazz. But uh, yes, let's take a look. I would assume that vampires have no need for the coinage of mere mortals or dwarves. So we have the Vargulf and the Felbats and the Crypt Ghouls as the bonus starting units for Manfred. I'm going to take a quick look at diplomacy to start with. We are around Schwarzenhof and Templehof, other vampire counts in the area, and we have the dwarves to our southeast. And looks like there's also some orcs that we may come into contact with, but we'll, because I'm not using the regional occupation mod to turn it off, uh, we can only raise their settlement to the ground, but that's, that's fine. We'll follow through that and see how it goes. Um, no, I don't want to go for non aggression yet, because I might, if I can quickly wipe out Templehof, I'm going to go for you next, Schwarzenhof. So let's um, let's raise some dead. Then we're going to go after that army there. Love raise the dead, so good. Take a quick look at Manfred's abilities, skills. Zombie dragon is at rank 25. As so we're pushing to get that as soon as possible, but there's 30 ranks in the game. It will take a while to get up there. You will to see all of his various abilities here. Someone creatures of the night, dark acolyte, student of the black arts. Count. Those are specific traits. And research wise, I'm going to go for the, the Lamian Book of Blood because that allows us to get serve in life or death for more growth and income. Power is, uh, blood is power. I'm going to go through these first, probably. And then we'll look at some of the others, which obviously give a multitude of different bonuses, camping out movement range, all these various books which work towards them. So three turns there. Let's uh, move on and have our first battle with Manfred. Oh, this looks like a very easy force to take down, but let's uh, jump on in and see this first one. See the Vargolf in action. Then we'll move towards Tempelhof, bring that down as soon as possible. Keep raising dead where we can. Although obviously we want to try and get some better units out soon because zombies are... zombies. They aren't that great. They're my, me my meat shield units. Oh, risk magic for more favourable wins. Hmm. Go on then. It's only at two anyway. Ranald is with you. Good. Huzzah. So we start with more power. Lovely. That's useful. Start deployment. Nice little feature. And you can see my FPS counter in the top left now. Of the screen. I've added that in for this one so you guys can... See that? I'll be doing a benchmark on my new PC very soon. Uh, there isn't a benchmark in the game yet. I hope there will be one at launch, though. Uh, but I'll just be running through like a quest battle scenario on different um, settings. To see how well it runs. 
and that'll be on my, my War Machine PC, which there'll be videos going out for that very soon as well. So if you want to know what's powering my Warhammer videos over the next few months, and that will be it for the well foreseeable future and kind of future Total War content just in general. That's my new battle box, as it were. Uh, I'm going to have these fell bats out on the flank. Um, and what we've got here, we've got Spirit Leech, which costs seven. And damaged combatant, strong versus single. Or we can increase our health. We want to get raised dead as soon as possible. What have we got here? Master of the Black Arts. Oh, that's good to go for as well. So yeah, we spirit leeching. No missile troops, so forward we go. Move these guys forward. Let's take a look at these guys. But yeah, I'm currently running this on an i7-4770K. 3.5 gigahertz and a GTX 980. Vargulf's ready. He can have some fun against those dire wolves. We're going to throw the fellbats in in a minute, but not yet. Oh, something's being cast on him. Deep trick. Let's leech his life straight away because that's where the strength of the spell comes from. Should start draining his health. Right, let's charge these zombies in. Get some zoom in going in, in a minute. Got the fell bats coming in. Is he? There he is. Let's strike him again. And let's use my Master of the Black Arts to increase the rate which my Winds of Magic comes back. Go after him, Manfred. Go on. Break him. Because if we take out their Lord, then they will crumble pretty quick. Just completely encircle them if we can. If we can't heal the Vargul for a little bit. Wonderful, Manfred. Has he got no nose? He's got no nose. They've thrown the dire wolves in there. Chase those zombies down. I can see these guys starting to crumble. Vargul's having a great time. Oh, he's activating his magic as well. But he's now dead. Just got wrecked. And the enemy's all crumbling away. And we have a decisive victory. Iron Hard and Angry achievement unlocked. So, we lost 87. Absolutely slaughtered them there. We did completely outnumber them and have a Vargulf and Felbats, which actually got a lot of kills, 75. Yeah, Direwolves are the best one. Zombie, uh, Skeleton's actually doing pretty well. Zombies just doing what zombies do. Crypt Ghouls as well. Pretty nice. Pretty solid. Decisive victory, slaughtered. Uh, not Dietrich, Dieter, the stickler. And. Yeah, we'll go for Dominate Captive so that we can keep on kind of replenishing and push on. We've killed him as well. So this will be another... Oh no, they don't have a Lord there yet. So I'm going to take a look at the achievements see what hard... Iron Hard and Angry was what? Win a campaign battle having completely wiped out all enemy units. Oh yeah, because yeah, they all crumble. Right, now what do we need for Raise Dead? Raise Dead is in here, so we need to increase uh, Invocation of Nehek.
So yes, next level we can get Raise the Dead, which is awesome. Okay. Can we raise any more dead from here? No, we can't. We can push right to Templehof, I think. What's their garrison, though? And they've got Fell Bats. Skeletal Spearmen. I'm going to need a lot more troops in order to take them on. So, more Skeletal Warriors, because... Well, we can see. They've got some more armor. Plus, they have a shield, so they'll block 30% of all small arms fire from hitting them in the front. Uh, faster. Melee attack's much better. Melee defense is better. Weapon strength is better. Charge bonus is slightly better. So yeah, we're just going to get get them for now. Uh, if we look at Castle Drakenhof, what can we upgrade to get more units? We can actually get Graveguard from here, but we'll need the ancient armory building. Which I assume is that, which we need a tier 3 Castle Drakenhof for. And we need some more growth, some more surplus there. In fact, for most of these things, we're going to need that. We could get, we could build this uh, and get the extra growth. It doesn't take as long. Public order income generated. Tarnished gold shaft. We'll definitely want to do that. Oh, there is, there's the guard gold shaft there. We'll definitely want to use that at some point. Vampiric corruption. I think I'm just going to go for growth for now, and we will upgrade the barrow as well because we can get skeleton spearmen. In fact. Uh, yeah, and eventually we can get Grave Guard with great weapons, Black Knights and all that jazz as well. But yeah, we'll start upgrading for now. And I think we're going to end turn. So we're mustering. That's everything we can do for now. So, oh, um, objectives. Yes, all that. Oh, they don't have their own kind of... Actually, yeah, Vampire Cats don't have their kind of special kind of thing to them. Obviously, the Dwarves have a book of grudges. Um, and Empire has the uh, offices and what have you. But then... These guys do get to raise the dead, so that's kind of their thing. One thing I would like to get rid of, actually, I would like to get rid of these messages. I don't know if there's a way to turn them off in the game. Ooh, where are they selling out to? Ah, they're letting that army come back in there and they're moving that one over there. Interesting. But yeah, I, I would love to get rid of those messages during end turn times. Once you've seen them the first time, you're good. So they're replenishing. Last, they've got those guys there. Come, impress me. Um, I probably should get even more skeleton. I don't know. Can we can we raise dead over here? I assume that other army might come back and try and knock me away. That's the only thing. They do have a lot of troops. I'm not sure I can actually go in and, and fight this one here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna break siege. And I'm going to recruit a few more uh, skeleton warriors first before we go in. Uh, we get another zombie or two just to act as meat shields. I know we've got the Vargulf, but we should probably let him replenish up actually as well. No need to be hasty. Winds of magic have changed. Built all that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. They haven't moved their forces, but it uh, looks. They're going to gather up. I'm pretty solid, actually. We're going to have to go in at some point. Uh, we can just grab two zombies now to have a full stack. Which I assume we can do from here. No, we can't. Let's do it from our own lands. Let's raise those two zombies, and then we're going to go siege Temple Hoff. That's a bit better. Get some siege towers and a ram. Uh, I'll take four turns to do all that. They may send their other army over in this time. So I'll have to keep an eye on them. I would sort of expect that they would that they are would come over and attack. We can upgrade that straight away for even more growth. Turn still surplus is gonna be seven. Local recruitment capacity, so we recruit one more. That is a lot of money suddenly going though. Hmm, but we do want the growth to upgrade later, so let's do it. So that's three turns, more growth, because then we're going to need to unlock the other slots anyway. I'm just thinking it's three turns and the seven, so it's four. Yeah, that's fine. That's all good. End the turn again. Ah, yeah, see, here they come. They're going to come relieve the siege here. 
all those zombies, they will just mob me. I'm going to fall back and hope that they'll chase me with just like one army. Oh, no, you're going to go over here. He keeps jumping. He's defending his settlements really well, actually, stopping me from going after any of them. The true cease. Yeah, I need to, like, take someone out. I might actually attack these guys here because it doesn't have walls, so I don't have to siege it, and we can take out a large force of them. And then we can go off Templehof. We could get a skeletal spearman here as well. So I'm going to get rid of a zombie. And so get another spear unit. And then we're going to go straight in. Here we go. So we've got a pretty solid chance apparently of winning this. So let's, let's fight this one as well. Lots and lots of battles. When you throw in my Vargulf. Wreck him. So... Van Kruger is who we're up against. And reinforcing garrison of 700. Let's bring them all down. Ooh, um, let's not risk the Winter Magic because 19 is pretty good to start with. I'll take that. And take a look at these guys properly last, last battle. Crypt Ghouls. You look absolutely horrifying. Oh, wow. Look, I've got a skull in the map. Burning flames in there. And a death angel. You look nasty. Oh, we can see the settlement off in the distance there, I think. Some. Whoa, who's that? Like. Huge statue to something. What is that? Mountains. All around. Right. Zombies again. You're going to be my front line. And then we're going to flank with the swords. Throw the Vargulf in as well. We're gonna throw him in at the flank this time. We have the fell bats over here. You guys here, Manfred, over there. Hopefully he'll level up after this, so that means we can um, get the raise the dead. Which would be pretty useful for battles. Just form up everyone here. Actually, you know, you guys stay out on the flanks. Fell bats. They've got fell bats as well. So they're gonna. Actually, I probably if I want to save my fell bats, I need to keep them back because they're just gonna two on one me with the fell bats. And I can't get any more at the moment. Let's move around to here. Swing round. Bring the Crypt Ghouls and Manfred here. Take a look at all my zombies stumbling along. Their ethereal blue eyes. We've got the skeleton spearman over here. I like how with some of these skeletons they've got like bits of their skull missing. So he's got he's got his full skull or a little hole. This guy, you can see right inside him. No wonder he looks so cheerful. Um, obviously got all the oh, he's got an arrow still through him. Well, he must have died. That's pretty cool. Right, so they're waiting for us to attack. Yep, that's true. And they have reinforcements as well. They they must have all come in. I would assume. Okay, I'm going to select everything, bar the fell bats, and just push the whole formation forward to here. Running forward, we've taken some time though to let them gather kind of their stamina, I guess. It's just that they're animated, it's their binding, isn't it? How 
well bound they are. Zombies who look hopeless but rather frightening. Especially with the crypt ghouls running through you. So you can also overcast spells, which is pretty cool. Um, which increases area effect, but in increases the miscast chance. I think I can do it with this as well. So extended cast range. I don't think we'll do that, though. Where is their lord? He's there. I think I can cast my magic from here. There I can. Nice. I'm going to start leeching... Spirit leeching him. Nasty looking chap. Van Kruger. Right. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage to him. Could you do that to him again, actually. Could sit here. It looks like it'll let me sit here and do that all to him. But let's, um move forward with the zombies. Group attack order. Flank around with these guys. Thargulf. In you go. In come those fell bats. If he's not lucky, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to kill him with my next spirit leech. Not even having to get close to him. Manfred in here, because if he goes, they're all going to crumble like crazy. The Resolve did say this was going to be a relatively easy fight. Oh, am I going to have enough to crumble him? To kill him? I think so. Oh, no, it's just stopped. How much health have he got left? 300, wow. My lord is under attack, this is true. But he is also very... Very fine. Oh, and you're going to die now because you're not moving. You're not moving far enough away. I'm just going to spirit leech you one last time and you're going to die. You should have attacked me, dude. There we go. Absolutely wrecked. These guys now will all be... They're all drained. Some of them are. Once they realise that he's gone. Get some rear charges in. Should be able to wreck them. Go, Vargulf, go. Let's bring the fell bats in now. I think the, the imminent danger to them is down a bit. I'm surprised these guys aren't breaking straight away. I thought they potentially would just crumble. Guess it can't be that easy. isn't that effective against multiple units, but it should still start bringing these guys down a little bit. My fell bats have gone in here. Charge the zombies. Flank these guys. How are we doing? Oh, I think a lot of them are crumbling now. How my crypt ghouls doing? After him, lads. Things. Nightmares. Whatever you are now. Where's my Vargulf? He's having a good time with the fell bats. Let's heal the crypt crypt ghouls. up, Vargulf? They must all be dying. Yeah, pretty much. In you go, Vargulf. Fell bats, get back. 
Oh, there's another Lord here. Oh, that's why they're not all breaking. Oh, no. Oh, no, they have. He, he wasn't another Lord. He was just a captain of a unit. But they have all now crumbled. They're gone. We have broken them. We have won. Decisive victory. We did lose 795. That's because mainly they had lots and lots of zombies. Like, that zombie unit got 92 kills. Dire Wolves did really well for them again. Fobats and Vargul. Right. But yeah, it's my skele skeletal warriors. Skeleton warriors, rather. Oh, and the Crypt Ghouls. 181. 102 with the skeletons there. Nice. Absolutely wrecked him, though. He just let me spirit leech him. That needs tweaking. The dead rise again. Nice. Some of my troops come back after the battle. Sweet. Enchanted item. Crown of command. Ooh, nice. Gives an augment of unbreakable for 25 seconds. Sweet. And we are just going to occupy, please. Fort Oberstire. The taint of undeath is spread by your conquests, mighty lord. Your realm grows, and more distant lands now fall under your gaze. The Empire and other kingdoms of men lie to the north and west. There you may feast. For the living are plit. Fantastic. Uh, plus 2,000 if we get two more settlements. Well, we'll want to complete the whole province of Western Sylvania. Um, we're in Eastern Sylvania. We'll need uh, Esten and Wildenhof. So we need Swartz, Swartz and Hof for this one as well. Oh, there's like, skulls in the mountains here. What a lovely place. So they've got the cemetery here. They need to upgrade at some point. We can. Manfred, though. Raised dead. It's always going to be raised dead. And we can see that um, enchanted item, Crown of Command. So we'll replenish up a little bit, or rather, I guess. We could probably just raise or recruit some more zombies. Or even skeletons. Do we even need to. Yeah, yeah, they are expendable, that is true. We could just go full on skeletons. at least get rid of these three and recruit three more skeletons. Let's disband all of them. There we go. Oh, we need to raise something, do we? Uh, might be able to get some some spears or something. Then we go for Tempelhof. Von Karstein, another one. Frederick. How dare you. I'm going to get serve in life or death now. What's also over here? Oh, Sterland, how do you guys feel about vampires on your doorstep? You know, just curious. I will listen, but my time is short. Oh, I was going to get, try and get non-aggression with them just to start with, so that we didn't have to worry about them. Oi! Don't call us abominations. That's a bit harsh, really. Dwarves, I guess you don't want trade. Oh, they want non-aggression, maybe. Um. Yes, I'll take your non-aggression for now. I don't need to worry about you flanking me in the behind while I'm trying to consolidate my vampiric counts in these lands. And it's in the turn. Super fast end turn times. I'm going to be interested to see how well. Oh. Oh, oh, what's going on? They want an aggression. No, because I'm probably going to go kill you guys shortly after Templehof falls. Arvaland and Zufbar. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, you guys you guys duke it out. But yeah, I'll be interested to see how fast those intern times are when you get later on in the game. Not just not necessarily because there'll be less factions, that would actually make it faster, but because there'll be more to, for AI to work out and do. Come impress me. Oh, we can't get any spearmen. I grow impatient. So we'll have to get some zombies. Okay, raise them. And I'm going to start besieging Templehof. 
Because now they don't have an army to break my siege. Oh, whoa, wh no way. Bloody hell. That's the garrison they've got. They've got three units of Graveguard already. And all those Crypt Ghouls. Sod that for a biscuit. Christ. And they've got Vargeists. Okay, well, I'm going to siege you out for, like, a really long time. At least until you start taking some attrition, surely. Because we can't... Well, actually, no, you know what I'm going to do? In that case, then. I'm breaking the siege. And I'm going to see if I can... Can I force march away? Yeah, we're going to go and take your other settlements. We'll leave Temple Hoth till last. Although, it's going to be dangerous, but... Get three units of Graveguard, Vargeis, what a garrison. What does Drakenhof get? Oh, I guess the same, pretty much, but more, more Vargeis, actually. Drakenhof's even even better. Wow. Yeah, but we're going to need some solid units to break through all that. Okay, we'll go take these other territories and try and cripple them that way. Try and draw that army out, at least. Because trying to take those walls? Sieges are tough in Warhammer. Lacking in variation. Certainly not on the same scale of past Total War games. Ah, oh, do you guys now want non-aggression? Yeah, I'm going to take that. Because then I can just focus on Tempelhof for now. These first few parts. Ah! Oh, oh, us. Ah, you fools. You're going over to defend. You're good at defending because you know that I probably can't attack Tempelhof. And if I do, then they'll sally out and they'll be really, really powerful. Bloody Frederick. And what's the garrison here? Oh, pretty weak, actually pretty weak here, so we could cut, try and break them like we did that last army. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go for an auto-resolve here to break these guys, because it'll be pretty similar to that last battle we fought. Okay, decisive victory. Oh, my Vargai, Vargolf nearly died. We lost pretty much the same number that we did there in that last battle. But that's good. It's them down. Nice one, Manfred. And we're going to occupy... Frederick von Karstein. Raised dead cost, minus seven. Ah, oh, the Gravedigger trait. Nice. Successful mission, capture Esten. Nice. Quest issue, Battle of Hellfen. It's right there. Oh, we can do a quest battle, guys. That'd be freaking awesome. Ah, oh, it's an... The Osterland Expedition. They got Rights Guard though. We'll get the Gold Sigil Sword, but we'll also get a Necromancer. We can go and take uh, Waldenhof after that. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. We can raise some spearmen if we didn't have some zombies. Let's merge the you guys. Raise you. You guys are gonna need some a few turns to replenish. So. Let's replenish up. Oh, we can get... No way we can get Graveguard. I was going to say. Yeah, we need the armory. We can destroy the building here because we don't need two of them in the same region. Let's repair that. I'm still waiting for that growth to come on through. The true Characters are still point. Yes, I forgot about that. Uh, raise dead. Um, cooldown reduction. Well, that causes magical damage. Strong versus single combatant. Effective at close range. Good from a high angle. Poor penetration. Curse of the Undeath. Greatly replenishes HP of combatants. All that increases speed and melee attack. Um... Hmm... What do we want to go after this? Probably want to build up his ability as a fighter. Or, actually, we could make Manfred a bit of a spellcaster here. The Fate of the Boonja, which does a fair bit of damage. And that's good versus multiple. That would be quite fun. Then we could have this, the Purple Sun of Zer... Uh, Zer... 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 Bruce. Can't say that. Someone probably correct me already. 
It's alright. So it's a vortex spell, causes disruption, doesn't do as much damage, but it can break up formations quite nicely. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's increase spirit leech then, which reduces the cooldown. So we can go for one of these next time. Sarah's gonna plenish up for a little bit. We probably could get and start getting another army, but I'd rather save my money up so I can make building improvements at the moment. We can see Templehof's already spawned in a new army. Who have they got here? Another Von Karstein. Bernhard. But Templehof is going to be a nightmare itself to assault. It's a lot more difficult than what I played at the preview build. We're going to go... Um, we got a Waldenhof. Let's see... We might be able to just move in. It says, it's because we got the Vargolf, I think. It's pretty solid, but then do I risk losing it? Oh, they've got Crypt Horrors as well. Hmm. Crypt Ghouls, lots of them. I don't want to lose my Vargolf. They have Poison. I don't know how the auto resolve's going to take it. He's still alive, just. But we've broken these guys here. And we're going to occupy again. Because I don't want too much negative public order. I haven't even been looking at that for a while. How are they doing over here, considering I've left? Oh, it's, it's going up. Good. So, yeah. Vargolf's still with us just right. Now we've consolidated here. We're going to go do that quest battle. Level 5 now. And what do we want? Soul Blight, Hex. That is rather effective. Greatly increase, it, increase to power reserves, power recharge rate. That is useful for casting more spells. Yeah, let's do that. Life leeching. And then when we get four points in here, we can get the fate of the Boonja, which is what we want to get. Oh, something I did mean to get earlier on is the rest is dead. Always get that or root marcher for Carl Franz. So we're gonna replenish up here. We can't get any spears. We can get dire wolves and fell bats though from here. Can't get grave guard still. What have you guys got then? Ah, the sinister corpse. Oh, that can get me Vargeists. Oh, that will cost a growth. I would do that, but I'm I'm not. I'm gonna wait and upgrade Templehof first, rather unlock a slot so that I can build the armory. But then we're going to go get Vargais. We're going to need plenty of them, the flyers, so that we can fly over the walls of Templehof and break them there. So for now, let's just merge everyone that can be merged. And then we can get some more. We can get the dire wolves in here. Let's get rid of that zombie unit. We definitely don't need you. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's get rid of you. And then, yeah, let's get Dire Wolves, Vanguard, very fast, weak against armor. Weak against armor. What have these guys got here? They do have armor. That is a thing. Although we could go after their crossbows. Let's get a unit of Dire Wolves, and let's get another. They're expendable as well, to be fair. Also weak against armor. Let's get another spear unit. Uh, let's just get two units of dire wolves. There we go. Got a pretty solid income at the moment. Uh, what can we build here? Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. There's no point building since the corpse or the barracks because we've already got that. We could wait until this is level two and then we could get the crypt ghouls and then crypt horrors, I assume, and a banshee later on. Wraith king, Khan Wraith sex race. So but this, mm, if we go down this tree, we ideally want one of these defiled um, Khan in our provincial capital because we need the max level to build that. So, can we get some public order and wine? Let's go for Tangled Vine Patch then. And end the turn. Oh, we can issue an edict. Oh, yes, because we have all of them. Nice. Uh, unit experience or local recruitment capacity. Tax. Growth or public order. We're going to go for growth and vampiric corruption spread. 
So we'll take two turns to get our next level of surplus. I wish we could do that. Oh, are you really going to attack me? Oh, you guys actually have good force. Well, let's see if we can't waylay you a little bit. Da little wa. Battle of Fort Oberstire. I've got zombies versus their zombies, and I've got skeleton warriors. I'm going to throw them up against the crypt ghouls. Um, fell bats into the flank of the zombies, I guess. Try and break the zombies first to free up more of my troops. Just need to try and take as many of them down as possible. Flank and zir. Flank and zir. Start. Go forward to meet them a little bit. Open plains and marshes. Bernard von Karstein. Isn't that the same name as this guy? They brought in here. Yeah. Huh. I think we've had... Either there's a couple of Bernards in the family, or... Bernhards. Here they come. Those Crypt Ghouls. Uh, slank out actually to the left. That's where the most, most of the zombies are. So I'm actually going to try and pin with the zombies and flank around with the rest of them. Go for those crypt ghouls. Try and maybe even pull a few of the units away. That's it. You keep them busy. Okay, you're gonna have to go for them here. That's where they want to go. Oh, they're le leeching my life. This one knows how to do it. That's hurting a lot. That's not good. Fell bats in you come. Try and harass these zombies a little bit. Come on, skeletons. Oh, he's popping on these guys as well. Yeah, because I don't have a general to throw it on. So he's just going to put on all my forces. Let's try and get the Felbats to break away and go after this unit of zombies just to disrupt them a little bit. Come on, break them. Break their binding. They're getting attacked in the rear. They don't like it. Oh, they broke me there, Crypt Ghouls. This will not end well. They're rear charging me. The zombie went leaping on in there. Oh. Shields getting flung around. Unfortunately, they are going to win here. Just hoping we could take a few more of them down. We've only taken. Might take down 200 of them in total by the end. Although this charge here looks like it may be about to break us with the crypt. Crypt Ghouls, and we're crumbling down now. Yeah, we're crumbling down the way. Decisive defeat. Yeah, those Crypt Ghouls, 161, 122, absolutely destroyed me. Totally wrecked. So I'll have to reclaim that at some point. But probably don't need to worry about it just yet. OK, 
Okay. Oh, I'm not taking it. Why aren't you taking it? Your prestige grows, my lord. News of your conquests spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by even the most distant of kings and bestial lords. Oh, goody. So, we've gained 200... Oh, but, oh, it was a chapter objective, was it? Nice. So, our new one, the spread of the undeath. We need 12 settlements. We'll get 4,000 for that. So let's take a look at those. Chapter objectives. What are bonuses? Daywalkers. Carry out a successful assassination attempt against 10 characters. Maintain at least 25% of the following corruption in the specified provinces. Vampiric corruption. We've already got that there. We need to put it in Sterland, Ostermark. Ah. Be at war with seven factions. What? Always another Von Karstein. Okay. That's, uh, that's good to know. Complete eight of the following missions. At the center of the web, okay. And a bloody quest. Yeah, we will do that. Oh, that's the quest chain, wasn't it? We've got a lot of money now. So, did you sack me? Ah, oh, you did. You did. Probably didn't want to take it because then you'd be away from Templehof, which you're keen on defending. How much does hit this army cost, actually? Character details. Army upkeep is 2,000 for that full stack. Uh, there's not much point really building another one because we'll be looking to upgrade all of our other forces soon anyway. Uh, we're going to be able to upgrade that finally next Next turn, um, we can get spears here. We can also get crypt ghouls, but we want to wait a few more turns. So I'm going to take two more turns, though. So let's just power through a couple of turns, and we're going to go do that quest, Battle of Halfen. We'll do that before we wrap up this first part of the vampire counts. Temple Hoff, what are you thinking about doing? Whoa! Oh crap! You came up with a massive army. Oh, I don't think I can wait around for this quest battle. You're storming in from behind. Are you going to take it, though? That's the thing. You've raised it! Ass hell! But, if I charge you now, your army's gone again, and then that'll give me time to go after the quest battle. Ah, oh, it's really annoying. Got rid of that. Anyway, Drakenhof. Let's upgrade that, though. To a shady township. What does it upgrade to? Oh, shady, a shady township, a cursed city, a dark castle, nice. So yeah, 4k for that. You dick. Van Kruger. How many had you already fought? Have you come back from the dead? You're probably their, their legendary lord, aren't you? So, yeah. Damn you. Well, I'm not going to stand for that. I'm going to go kill you. So, bring it on. This will be the final battle. We'll have to do that quest battle this start of next part. And now I've got to rebuild that town. Balls. I've got a similar theme going on though between the Empire Let's Play and the Vampire Council Let's Play. Both got a kind of little civil war and secessionists to, to deal with, to start with. Consolidate our Oh, well we might as well gamble. We've only got one to start with. Ah, it paid off. All right, well, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and spirit leech him again. We've also got raise the dead though this time, which is good. And yeah, it's all good. It's all good. I've got my dire wolves. Do you have dire wolves? Can't see any dire wolves, so I'm going to place you guys. You guys can just fit in here. There's a little little gap. Did it with Attila maps and what have you. facing the wrong way, but we'll turn them around in a minute. But yeah, we're going to launch them into the rear. Charge some of their, their zombies, what have you. Alright, so let's, let's place spears in the centre. And put the swords on the flanks. This big battle line of zombies and undead. Warriors of great houses. 
fallen but now risen again of the Vargulf here in the centre, support Manfred. We'll have the Crypt Ghouls nearby. Looks good to me. Now will you hold your position or will you march to me? Van Kruger. They're coming. Where is he? There he is. I'm going to spirit leech you again. Show you what for. Really cool hood though. He's, he's got like hands on his back. Just casually on the cloak there. Oh, my range's not that good. Oh, wow. I can increase the range, can't I? Extended cast range. But there's a 50% chance of misfire here. Let's give it a go though. See if it pays, if it works. It has worked, and it's killing him. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> There's so much damage. They can't get to me fast enough. Oh, wow, that's an insane amount of Spirit Leech. I'm going to do that again. Oh, what do I got here? I've got the Crown of Command. Prove the rate at which my power recharges. I'm just going to kill you again with the Spirit Leech. Necromancers be uh, very susceptible. Ah, uh, but I can't hit you again unless I overcast it again. I said overcharge earlier, didn't I? Went overcast. Let's hope that I get away with it and don't have miscast. No, yeah, we got him. So he's going to die. Van Kruger, I've got you again. You'll perish under my dark magic. What? No. Oh, he just survived. That first time, it did loads of damage to him. Let's bring in the dire wolves. Hold your lines. We'll give these guys group attack orders to go for it. Fell bats. We'll deal with them. Keep them solid for now. Come my dire wolves. Do we really look pretty dire? We're gonna charge you into Van Kruger. And I'm gonna start using this uh, spirit leech on. Um, pop you on these guys. Crown of command. Start popping it on skeleton warriors because it did a lot of damage when it was used against me. Vargulf go. Look forward to see these guys wreck him. Raise some, raise some dead in a minute as well. If the army still stands. After hopefully their necromancer's demise. Is he trying to heal himself? Oh, he's down though. Nice. Right, let's free up these units over here. Gonna raise some dead. Level the playing field a little bit. Flank these guys over here. Great at taking down zombies. Right. Raise the dead on top of these guys. Oh, he's got to get a bit closer, I think. Can't wait to see the dead rise. He's got distracted. There we go, now it's doing it. Gucci climbing out of the ground. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. 
although not necessarily super effective. Let's bring all these guys in now. Here's my Vargulf. Charge you in here. You guys are breaking them there. I just clicked off screen by mistake. They swarmed me here, which is where they're doing most of their damage. Got that Vargulf in. Address me as master. I will not fail. Flank on round with these guys. Go, Darwolves, go. Where's my other unit of Darwolves? Flank them there. You guys are still holding. I think I'm just going to need to go on a mass recruitment spree or whatever I can get and go off that quest battle if I want to do it anytime soon. Otherwise, I'm probably not going to get it. Get to do it for a while because we need to deal with Temple Hoff. Charge these guys in the back. Bats, in you go. Here we go, send these guys in. I think we've, yeah, we've got the up hand. They've all disappeared. And a close victory. Got the achievement unlocked of spells and skills and stuff. We lost 905. They lost all of their 2,739. All the zombies dead. 130, uh, not 100, sorry, 103 kills with the direwolves there. Vargulf 84. Only got 4 kills with the crypt ghouls. 132 with the skeletons. Lots of, lots of good kills with the skeletons, actually. Super solid skeletons. Their spears did pretty well, actually, on their side. Close victory. And I do want to keep moving, so I'm going to take on the take that replenishment again. Gain the Gleaming Pendant. Nice. Oh, they pulled back to there. Still alive. How much is it to rebuild this? Oh, we'll lose a lot of soldiers. Yeah, do nothing then. Not yet, because I need them all for that. But let's upgrade Manfred again. Um, Soul Blights. Yeah, let's get that spell. And then let's finish these guys off. Down, you fool. We only lost four. Uh, what's this? Du -du -du -du. Ambush dance. dance macabre. Can't replenish if unless I force march you guys to here. You can't get in the settlement, but you're in a friendly region, so you will take replenishment anyway. Um, can't do any of that. Unfortunately. Oh, who are you? The bloody spears. We're already at level 5. Four turns of that. Let's have one more in turn, and then we're going to wrap up this first part. Ah, oh, do you want peace now? And pray to thine pitiful little gods that they reign true. Yeah, no. I know you're just going to come out and attack me again, but I will go for you soon. The migration. The Great Migration comes to our borders, demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our, ter our own territory uh, or turn them away? Be gone or migration. Public order, growth. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And we've got the surplus already to upgrade the Corrupted Village, which means we can then go and get Vargeist. Yes, 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 yes. Do that, do that, do that. Right. We probably need to go in and do this now. Or in the next turn. So let's merge as many of you guys as possible. And then what would we need to recruit? We need skeletons. We're going to get rid of you. And skeletons. Cool. And then what? That's one turn. You want to take two turns to fully re replenish, but that's fine. You only take one turn, so let's just get rid of you. 
and get new ones. So next time we can go and do the quest battle, the Battle of Halfen, and we'll get a Necromancer as well, and that sword. So hopefully Templehof will chill out a little bit between now and then. Right, well, that's where we're going to wrap up for now, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, XMG, Green Man Gaming, and Overclockers UK. Until the next one, ciao for now.